And now, here is your host. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Back to the Sermon episode of the John John Podcast. This special edition occurred at some new gaming news and more YouTube news. So, before I get right into the gaming news, first I gotta get the YouTube news out of the way first. This happened yesterday, April 3rd, 2018. This happened at the YouTube headquarters, and this is very sad. Alright, so uh, yesterday there was a shooting at YouTube headquarters in San Bruno, California. If y'all haven't heard, but I know most of y'all heard about it. Alright, the woman who shot three people at YouTube headquarters in Northern California has been identified as Mason Hagdam. Two law enforcement sources told CNN. This article is from CNN. The woman took her own life after the shootings. She was found at the scene and appeared to have killed herself with a handgun. But the investigation is just beginning. San Bruno Police Chief Ed Barberini said, and he quote in the conference, we know very, very little right now and we probably won't know more until tomorrow morning, the chief said. And a fourth person was injured as people scrambled off the patio outside the cafe on campus. The shooter is believed to have known at least one of the victims, two law enforcement officials told CNN. The shooter's, the shooter's motive was unclear, but Barberini said, adding that it's unclear whether the shooting was a domestic violence incident. All right, I'm going to stop right there. Apparently, the shooting is a domestic violence because... She was typically upset about her videos. She blogged about veganism at Railed Online about dictatorship and accused YouTube of limiting viewers on, of her videos before opening fire at its California corporate headquarters, warning three people and killing herself. The police on Wednesday were investigating, investigating why Nathan Najafi Agdam, 39, of San Diego opened fire with a handgun on Tuesday at the company owned by Alphabet Inc.'s Google. A review of her postings online in Persian and English showed glimpses of resentment and anger at the video sharing company. Be aware, and this is in quote, be aware dictatorships exist in all countries, but with different tactics, they care only for short-term profits. She will on a website called nasisonsubs.com, which translates as green breeze from Persian. I am being, and she, and I quote, I am being discriminated. I am being filtered on YouTube. I am not the only one. Well, I'm going to pause that right there because YouTube is censoring people because they have a censorship. So don't be upset because you're being demonetized and uh, censored on YouTube. Everybody's getting censored because of language and the reason why she was upset because it's censors, censorship. I've down said it in an English language video on t- YouTube before her channel was deleted on Tuesday. A man was in critical condition and two women were seriously wounded in an attack at an outdoor patio at YouTube's Silicon Valley headquarters, which employed about 2,000 people. And the police said she seemed to have chosen victims at random. Like, seriously, people. Because the video's getting demonetized and because of your political views and freedom of speech. Don't do that, it sounds stupid. Because now, there's going to be Tyler Gawals. Alright, now right into the gaming news. That's going to be my last uh, YouTube news for, for a while. And now into right into the gaming news. This is coming from NBA.com. This is posted eight hours ago. Magic, in the title of this article, is Magic Gaming Preparing for Inaugural NBA 2K League Draft. And the author is Dan Savage, and this is coming from New York. I'm going to give some parts of the article. I'm not going to read the whole thing. It says, the Orlando Magic are currently preparing for two drafts. One is most likely f- very familiar to you. The NBA draft features the top college, college players and basketball prospects from all around the world. It takes place on an international stage and its broadcast is watched by over 3 million viewers. Holy shit, that's a, that's a lot of viewers. 
The alert is a first-time affair. None of the players are currently household names, although they could be in the near future. And with some of their massive social media followings, they may already be more popular in youth circles than the aforementioned future NBA stars. This kind of this inaugural event, of course, is the NBA 2K League Draft, which will take place on Wednesday, April 4th, 2018, which is today, at the Hulu Theater and Madison Square Gardens Lobby. And while the Magic have a massive staff in the Basketball Operations Department dedicated to breaking down current and future basketball prospects, Orlando's current 2K League staff uh, has a headcount of two director of Magic Gaming Ryan Devos and team manager Chris Tuson. And I'm going to read one more line. Over 72,000 people tried out for the NBA 2K League qualifier and draft combined. Holy shit, that's a lot, a lot of people. Eventually, that number was trimmed down to just 102 participants. How do you guys, how did they do the math? So there's over 72,000 people trying out for the, for the league, and how do you cut down the 102 participants? Leave a link to this in comments and the podcast, and also, this is all the time we have for this podcast. If you guys got a suggestion for a future podcast, let me know in the comments of the podcast. Message me, find me on my social medias. I'll see you guys in the next podcast.